the Cali Merchant Seat 9 1 with the Oh, Jenny, I'm gonna get you up! Are you with him right now? He's not breathing at all. We all the way here. Oh, please, that's what he's doing. Instructor Morris here with a brief video today to discuss gas exchange. So I have a lot of recruits that ask me when they first get here, uh, what's the most important thing uh, to start studying uh, in anatomy and physiology? I think a lot of, a lot of folks uh, get here and they hear about the high number of failure rates that we have in this uh, chapter. And so they want to try to you know start studying early uh, to try to get ahead of this and um i think that gas exchange is one of the most important topics that we discuss and it's probably one of the topics that people struggle with a lot and i don't think it's because it's complicated it's just the fact that it's not enough to memorize um, how blood travels through the heart. It's just not enough. You can understand that part by memorization, but never understand gas exchange. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's talk about uh, the player here. So we have the heart, and um, we can't do it without the lungs either. So let's talk about that first. Get a pen up here. All right, so let's talk about the function of the heart. All right, the function of the heart. That's a relatively simple function, and that's to pump, right? I think we got that part figured out, but it's the design. It's the design of the pump that I think we fail to talk about. And so uh, let's talk about that right now. So the heart is designed as uh, one organ, but the right side and the left side of the heart have two very distinctive jobs. The right side of the heart here um, has uh, the job of receiving deoxygenated blood then after receiving deoxygenated blood, pumping that over to the lungs. Then once the lungs receive the blood, um, it is time then to return the blood to the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart's job is to receive that oxygenated blood and then pump it out to the body. So that's a very important um, you understand that there is the right side of the heart right, receives deoxygenated blood. And the left receives oxygenated blood All right and then going back to the right side its job is to get that blood to the lungs and then the left side of the uh, of the heart its job is to receive it and then pump it to the body all right so now that we kind of understand that, let's talk about um, the heart a little more specifically. Let's look here at the right side of the heart. So this top part right here is known as the right atrium. Blood comes uh, into the right atrium. Now remember, this is deoxygenated blood. Okay, Deoxygenated blood It will always be deoxygenated blood coming to the right side of the heart 
All right, so we're in the right atrium. And before we go to the next part of the heart, we're going to have to go through a valve, right? And so the, uh, the, uh, the valve we have shown right here is the bicuspid valve, the uh, bicuspid, sorry, the tricuspid valve. Okay, we have the tricuspid valve. Try before you buy is kind of the mnemonic that's used to remember that. The blood is going to go through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle the bottom part of the right side of the heart. So from there, the right ventricle will pump this deoxygenated blood to the pulmonary artery, but it must go through the pulmonary valve first, right? And it's deoxygenated blood. So, this is when the blood is actually going to go over to the lungs to receive oxygen, right? And so if we look at this in a little more detail here, we have the alveoli, right? And so what is the function of the alveoli? So the function of the alveoli is simple, right? It is gas exchange, right? Gas exchange. That is its function. How was it designed to, to uh, complete this function? Well, you look at the alveoli, it has these tiny little sacs, okay? Um, and what those sacs do is aid in keeping the alveoli open in order to accomplish the goal of gas exchange. And so let's look at this representation right here. All right. And so what we have here is the outside air. All right. This is the outside air. And we're breathing in oxygen. And we're taking it down right through the trachea to the bronchi, down through the tinier bronchi called bronchioles, and then into the alveoli. So here we have oxygen. Let me get a green pin up. Okay. So here we have oxygen coming into this alveoli. Okay. Then we look at this, we uh, have CO2 carbon dioxide and it's coming down here in the lower parts of the lungs and we're going to breathe it out to the outside air right so the co2 is going to escape to the outside well let's now let's go back over here to our alveoli so our o2 is inside the alveoli and it's waiting patiently and here comes our deoxygenated blood up and our oxygen is going to diffuse. Going to diffuse into the into the cell. Right? Because blood carries blood cells, right? So oxygen is going to go in here into the cell. Right, but the cell is going to give up something now. The cell is going to give up carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide is waste. That's all it is. And I'll write that here for you. It's waste. A waste product. We don't need it. If we don't get rid of waste, then we will surely die. Because what is the definition of perfusion, right? So we, if we define perfusion by delivering oxygen to the cell, but there's another major piece behind that, and that is removing what waste. We're going to remove waste. And so that waste is CO2. So we have oxygen going into the cell, 
We have CO uh, into the body, into the blood cell, right? Specifically the red blood cell. And then we have CO2, carbon dioxide escaping into the alveoli. So let's go back and let's just look right here real quick. So how do we get rid of the CO2 from the alveoli? We're going to breathe it out. And that represent us, rep, this represents us sending that CO2 up and out. Okay, that's the first part. First part. So after that happens, after that exchange happens, the blood is now oxygenated, right? Oxygenated blood, the good kind, the kind we need. And it is going to be delivered where? Over here to the left atrium. Okay, so we got the left atrium over here. It's receiving that oxygenated blood. So now we're on the left side of the heart, right? So its function is to receive oxygenated blood and then pump it out to the body. So we go from the left atrium through another valve. And this will be the bicuspid valve. It, this uh, will now be in the left ventricle. And later we'll do a video that talks about maybe some of the properties of the ventricles, but we won't worry about that right now. We'll just concentrate on gas exchange. So then we have the left ventricle and it is going to now pump this blood up and it's got to go through the major artery called the aorta. And it's going to have to go through a valve called the aortic valve. Right. And so here, this is uh, going to be pumped out of the left ventricle into the aortic valve and then out to the body. Well, let's see what happens when it goes out to the body. Well, here we have another cell. Okay, here we have another cell. Well, not another cell, a cell. Right. And the same thing that happened in the alveoli is going to happen here. Right, because this is how our body lives. I say a cell, right, but we know that cells make tissue. And tissues make organs and the cells are they're, they're specific to the job that they do cardiac cells muscle cells liver cells pancreatic cells this kind of depends on where they're assigned and their properties will you know there'll be a pancreatic cell is different than a cardiac cell right but they have the same major uh, anat uh major anatomy right but they just do different jobs but anyway here we have this oxygenated blood is arriving at the cell, and the same thing that happened in the alveoli is going to happen here. Oxygen is going to now diffuse into the cell. Right? It's going to diffuse into the cell, and this nasty CO2 waste product is going to diffuse uh, into the blood cell. Right. This cell represents a maybe a cell in the body. This is not a blood cell. And then the, the waste material will now be transported into the blood cell. Now here we have this deoxidated blood. And it's traveling up through the, in this case, the inferior vena cava. And into the right atrium. And the process repeats itself. Guys, this is a must know. Everything that we do, uh, as far as EMTs, advanced EMT paramedics, has to do with saving cells. If we can save cells, we can save tissue. If the tissue saved, the organ will be saved. So that's why you have to understand that. Um, I think knowing why you need to understand it helps you to learn the materials too, right? And so that's why. It's not because um, 
we think, well, let's just add this anatomy and physiology on because it's hard. Um, no, it's because you got to understand that concept of saving the cell. Um, so that that's it. That really is it, is understanding that process. If you understand that process, then it'll help you to understand um, the rest of anatomy and physiology and will help you to, when we're coming up with diagnosis and differential diagnoses, uh, it helps you uh, to understand that. So, all right, that is it for this video, and we will see you soon.